So we're not going to go through the um, turning. We turned um, just some basically laminated pine. Um, these are all test pieces. Uh, I'd like to get the process right before we uh, do anything uh, too on any wood that's too uh, expensive. So just had these scraps laying around. So I did those. Uh, I've t roughly turned the back so I could mount the front. Now what I'm doing here is we've got that trench, I don't know if you can, the camera will pick that up, uh, about uh, 12 millimetre or half an inch uh, deep. The idea is that we're going to put in all of our, um, our paints in the bottom um, just to get a pattern and then when that's dry we'll fill that with resin and uh, then we'll put it back. Um, we'll pay, put it back, and we'll shape the front in a nice curve, and then polish the resin up. Um, I've just put it back on that so that I can clean this up, seal, and uh, and polish that. Right. So I finished the back, and uh, as you can see, so we'll uh, change over to the front again. So just a bit of paint uh, poured in the bottom and swirled around, just a bit of an ab abstract type of design. Right, well now we're uh, getting to the stage where we're doing the, um, the resin, two part resin, part A and part B. Um, this is going to be experimenting more ways than one because this resin has been sitting on my shelves for over four years. So I don't know whether this is going to work or it's going to be a complete disaster. Um, not only that, the temperature in here is about 15 degrees Celsius, which it, um, is not ideal. Uh, it should be at least between the range of 20 to 30 degrees uh, Celsius. So eh, we're going to mix it up. We're going to pour it in and I'm going to take this inside to in a controlled back back inside and in, uh, where the uh, the heat is going uh, in this cold winter and uh, hopefully we, it uh, it'll set so uh, I don't really know how it's going to go but we sure are going to find out okay so we've got part A and part B the first thing I notice of course is that part B the uh, hardener has got this uh, yellowish type of hue. That may well mean that it's uh, uh, not in good condition um, or they may mix in and become clear. I don't know. We're uh, both going to find out. <laughs> so Sorry guys, I had the camera on the wrong setting and it was on photo and uh, uh, yes, we've started, we've started into um, smoothing this down and uh, yes, we have a lot of, uh, as you can see, resin uh, flying off the machine but um, yeah, so basically the process simply is to uh, now to, to clean this and shake this uh, down to where we want it. And uh, from there, 
um, we will then dish out the middle of the bowl. But um, even though it's cloudy at the moment, um, we, even you know, a bit of sanding and, and that's going to come up a tree. Now we are going to uh, uh, sand it up uh, through the grits before I do any more, particularly this outside. The idea here is that um, we'll sand this up and I'm going to put a black, I'm going to blacken the rim here and blacken on the inside so to give it that uh, contrast. Um, so we'll just uh, sand that up before we go too much further. You can just see the shine on that. See that? That's popping. That's really lovely. Really happy with that. Okay. Right. We're going to apply a sanding sealer um, to the finish because I think I'm going to probably do a little bit of colour on the centre today so uh, we'll, uh, we'll just, pile, just put this on. I didn't film all the dishing out, uh, that's pretty much the same if you want to see what happens there you can have a look at the last video um, but basically we just, this is more about, uh, about colouring. Okay, well, we've um, sanded, uh, just um, uh, put a, a bit of sandpaper on there over the sanding sealer, and we're going to use a bit of blue, so uh, we'll, what the idea is, I'm going to try and uh, put a, a very light blue, even though this is, seems to be fairly thick, but I think with a light blue, I can uh, thin it with a bit of water, and we can gradually get just a, a little blue hue, and then... I'm going to try and use this iridescent colour just around the top to blend it in. So that's the idea. We'll see what happens. Probably a little bit um, uh, strong for what I'm, I want, but I'll just thin it out. The good thing about timber is, of course, like uh, like paint, you don't like it, you can take it off. So let's see how we go. Right, so we're uh, using this, uh, I don't know, what do you, uh, I'm not too sure how you pronounce that, gouch or gouche or gouchy, something like that, the tempera, it's not, uh, not acrylic paint, it's a, it's a water soluble paint, but for our application that's fine, and I'm going to try and uh, just use this up the top a little. strong. I might uh, try and take a bit off that. I blend that out. Yeah, that's going to be lovely. All right, well, we'll take it off the lathe and uh, we'll prepare to put another uh, coat of resin over the top. So just have uh, completed the uh, um, the poly on top. What I've done, or the resin on top, what I've done, I've just brushed it on um, because I don't want a really thick coat because I don't want to pour it all over the, the sides, but um, I do want it to uh, come up with a lovely 
uh, gloss finish so all that's left is to torch the bubbles out of it and hopefully we're going to end up with a a lovely glass smooth piece. I might have got something in the resin there. So there's the uh, the final prize. I'll put up a couple of photographs as well, but uh, it's uh, I'm really really happy with that. Thank you for watching.